all I can see on this card right now is the Everstone Goldberry from the from placing second or third in the park. So I will expect to see a lot of Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any time sensitive goals. We have. So. We also have uh, Poison Barb in row four, column three on the card. Oh, I missed that. Uh, okay, I expect to see a few, quite a few uh, Friday into Saturday uh, choices. Yep. Usually 11 p.m. on Friday. Uh, looks like we have two people in day. Or maybe just different color settings, actually. Just kidding. We'll see in two seconds. No. Yeah, Hulk and Anisha are in day, so... I guess they're hoping to either clock reset or they're gonna hope that they can find Everstone Gold Bear in the ground. Yeah. Cool. We have a Dratini, a Pinsir, and a Smoochum. So... We don't have release starter on the card, and I, I don't see any. Of, I don't see dragon type on the card. Electabuzz, Jinx, Magmar. <laughs> Apparently, so. one of the starters is really good, according to Snowbear. So or we'll really high. What... So it looks like we have three pincers and a Dratini from Hulk. Pincers carrying calcium. Me. Pinsir is carrying a calcium, but I don't see what the uh, Tartini was carrying. Well, yeah. that's gonna be a real advantage to everyone, given that it's apparently a good Pinsir. I didn't see the moveset too well. Apparently, mm -hmm. everyone but Hulk is gonna have a good time. Hulk does get a uh, rock type move out of his Tartini, though, so. Oh, and I see Snowbear on Rope 29. So, we now have information on that. A lot of encounters this uh, Route 29. Ekans, the champ, Donphan, and Teddy Ursa, as we mentioned earlier so far, see, between the four risks. Okay. I wonder if Hulk is going to go for the Machamp or a Donphan, because those can definitely be some good. Uh, those can definitely be some good mains. So we'll Absolutely. Have to see. Absolutely. Um. Okay. Otherwise, we have a pretty standard start thus far. I believe with the starter choices that the three have given their given Silver a Smoochum, while Halkery will have to fight a Pincer. Oh, that's a good point because the Pincer's good. So, hopefully, there's something on Route Thirty for Hulk. And, and so far, uh, we've seen nothing that suggests he can switch to it. Ooh, a Blastoise he might be able to use, but if True. he can find it. Oh, another Lady. Okay, so he probably has one more encounter before he heads on. And he wipes. <laughs> oh, and is she use Repel? I guess he's hard committing to his pincer main. And, uh, that's a fair play. True, Especially because also... most people aren't going to use a repel, so you can meta off of what they pick up. Indeed. You'll be able to see what sort of pokes are available early game on the card if you need to head back there. Unless you... <laughs> <laughs> Unless the Pokedex tells you to go back there. True. Um... Hmm. I don't see the X-Accuracy in front of his Pokemon's house doing much, although it might be useful for money. Yeah, it gives you a repel, so... Better than nothing. Could help out Hulk a little bit, being a little bit behind in the money game, not getting the calcium off of Pinsir. Otherwise, not crazy relevant. And Hauk is just not finding the Pokemon he's he's hoping to see. Yeah. Just Meowth, Ledian, and uh, Magikarp, I think he's seen. But I think the Meowth might be the most it. viable of those three. <laughs> <laughs> Rain Man defeating wild encounters for a little extra experience. Uh, usually not worth it. At least not first stage Pokemon like Meowth, but you never know. Every little bit helps. 
Um, and Inishi has already passed his rival, which is not no surprise given that he repelled through Route 30. True. Since the Smoochum doesn't have too much to deal with a pincer, so it looks like an easy battle for them. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. it looks like Hauk might be one or two eight KO'd. Oh, an interesting point too is the Smoochum does give information for the Electabuzz Jink Snagmar call. So everyone but Hauk has that information, should it come down to that. That sounds more like a desperation play than anything else, given it's the a, high level. It's a snow bear run. Okay, the only way I would I would level up a Jinx Mag Jinx Magmar or Electabuzz if it's on the card is if it's the shine. True. Okay. Um. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for. Okay, sorry. Um, let us see. No, I wonder if it looks like everyone's back through, uh, back to Ra Cherry Grove City, and mm -hmm. no one's choosing to do to guard strats. So I'm checking the uh, catch tutorial. Yeah, it's always hype when that works out, but the uh, the odds of that working out aren't necessarily the most. Words are hard. <laughs> Looks like Dawn fans got a move, but it's female, which Hulk's probably like wishing wishing it could be a slightly better, but I think he's got realizes he's gotta take what he can find. Yeah. The the lower attack DV isn't great, but Holy uh, that is a Dawn that's... fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a Dawn fan, alright. <laughs> Double kick, poison or sludge bomb. I didn't see the other two. Double kick, which is one of the best moves in the game. Yeah. And uh, and the fourth one was Hyper Beam, which yeah. I mean, it's all physical, which is really good regardless. And I believe uh, Septos is saying Aero Blast as well. So yeah, fantastic with that. And it looks like Hulk's also checking out the Machamp. Maybe he's gonna see if he if this is gonna be better just because of gender ratio and such, or I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt. My champs is generally going to be a little bit better than Headbutt. Them. Headbutt. Interesting. Uh, Snowbear, who made the wrong? I feel very lied to. Yeah, but it's Ghost Wall. I do not trust Ghost Ghost Walls. Ever since I ran a I ran a turret that was Ghost Wall, and I had to struggle Falconer to death. Yeah, I mean, if we get something good out of the Headbutt trees, though. I it's definitely worth checking. Easily. Level advantage early is a big help. I don't know, Snow Bear. It's not really looking like a U ROM yet. Of course, I say that, and then we're gonna see the nine and Faulkner have a Mewtwo. And TM thirty four being Kanto locked. And the last being missing somehow, and you have to find her. It was actually a ROM hack. Hmm. Yes, still some opportunity for shenanigans, just we have things that are runnable. Oh, is that a. We have a Magmar on Enchi's screen as the nine. Okay. And the, the, the Magmar has Thunder. That's gonna be difficult to get past regardless. I think uh, people are gonna. I think uh, NSG is gonna look for another main. Looks like something I can at least wall the uh, Magmar or whatever you can get close to doing. Although I did have noticed that on the ground there's been a hyper potion and a full restore. That does not. That does not sound good if you need to use them. So it's almost as if they're on the saying, "Hey, you're gonna need these." <laughs> There's a pincer on Route 35, is it? 36, I think, actually. 35, 30, no. I can't remember which route, but <laughs> there's a pincer there. And 
And she has found a Kingdra, and a very uh, useful Pokemon to uh, run. See if how good it is. Well, it's got two moves, I guess. Blizzard and... Was that... What kick was that? Meanwhile, Hakuri caught a Weeping Bell from the headbutt. I guess he's committing to 30 Pokemon loaned already? Ah, the Kingdra had Rolling Kick. Meanwhile, it looks like everyone here is searching for something. Most uh, people are probably searching for a main or more pokes to capture for 30 owned. While Hauk is probably still slightly searching for a main. And then I think she's climbing Sprout, probably for the levels to, uh, to get past the uh, to get past the nine. Though it could be useful as well for the four move sharing its type, given that Flash is a normal type move, so easy to. Meanwhile, it looks like the uh, the racers who aren't Anishi are about to find out the nine be in for a nasty surprise. And then she finds a leftovers. That's a really good item to find for basically any main. Outrage and thunder. God, that Machamp is is um not Machamp. That Magmar is gonna be a pain. Well, it looks like everyone got past is getting past the Magmar fairly easy, fairly uh, fine. <laughs> and Don Van Lern Sandstorm giving Rain Man his rock kick move. Guess, I'm guessing how Kree is satisfied with his uh, Machamp being his main. Given that he's uh, decided to essentially take it this far instead of uh, instead of using Dawn Fan. And oh god, that Exeggutor, no sky attack. And it missed. <laughs> Man, Falconer's Gym is not being kind today. And Cypress has successfully gotten past Faulkner, giving him a very good lead, lead in the progress. So it's, it's a head, not that big, given that Brain Man and Halkria are right on his tail. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Cool, so we have Rain Man getting through Faulkner. Has anybody else gotten past yet? Cypress has. And Hauk just finished off Faulkner. Hawk was just finished off. Uh, where is Anishi right now? He's in Sprout. In Sprout, okay. And Faulkner's giving away Aurora Beam. Probably not the move most people were hoping to around that kind of sense. Yeah, but it works. I'm 
very least, certain most people are running a uh, physical mon, so I'm not sure that Aurora Beam helps them at all. Uh, if they get walled by a Dragonite somehow. Other than something niche like that, it's probably not super relevant. Hmm. Yeah, how can Rain Man neck and neck? And I assume Rain Man, Anishi, and Cypress are all still running Pinsir. Uh, no. Anishi's running a Kingdra he found. Oh, cool. Rain Man is running a Dawn fan. I think Cypress is the only one who's running the Pinsir. Interesting. Uh, and then Hawk running the Dawn fan? Hawk is running a... a Ma the Machamp. The champ, okay. I thought I heard it was a special in the champ, but oh well. Uh, it had two fighting. T it had two two It had all physical moves. Oh, two okay. normal and one fighting. I think it was or two fighting, one fi two fighting, one normal. Okay. Whatever works. Seems like a good choice then. So Nishi can now see that he's a little bit behind because everyone else has poison barb, but he's at least in the gym. Uh huh. And no one going for fishing today. But that's fine because they have mains. And they're just blitzing. Imagine they'll check the uh, Union TM to see if it's. Uh... Hmm. Oh, it looks like I'm Hawks. skipping that. I imagine I guess he's go hoping back to get... 25, no. I'm guess... Yeah, he, he was probably banging on everyone else checking it, and then he'd just go back in if he needed to later during cleanup. If it's... Yeah. Uh, okay. it's... Oh yeah, especially because Pokemaniacs is on the card. It would make sense to skip it now then. Unless it ends up being, like, a solid physical move. Uh, we'll see that when uh, Cypress goes shopping, I imagine. Or a yeah. man. Rain Man decided to put off the Maniac even though it's on the card. I guess he's, uh... Just hoping it's not on his path. Yeah. I mean, regardless, he can come back later and defeat it faster. But... Wait, where is... Because there's two more Maniacs in the basement. Uh, I'm blind. Where's Maniacs on the card? Uh, column 2, row 2. Ah, there it is. Hmm. And it was a poison Interesting. bar on the ground. So, Hawk teaching Aurora said? Beam. Sorry, what was on the ground? There was a, uh... There was a poison barb on the crown, seeing how Rain oh. Man had two. <laughs> nice. I was wondering how there were three poison barbs marked. Given that oh, fair point. Saturday. I'm pretty sure. No, wait, no, that was daytime. Never mind. Yeah. We'll find out what day they chose. I think Hulk had a Friday because I think I saw the chick. Give her the poison barb. Give him whatever. Hmm. Meanwhile, Hawkeri is uh, having a little bit of issues with this Venusaur, given that Psychic is not the friend to his mate. No. Psychic, not Icy quite. Wind? Oh my. Lord, this Venusaur is a monster. I Maybe probably heard this. <laughs> Maybe Snowbird did make the ROM after all. Uh, Snowbird, it's... we're sorry. You can stop cursing the runners now. It's iffy. I need to see a little more to decide that. Okay. Oh, the Kingler has Paris Song? That's a little <laughs> annoying. <laughs> and timer. recover. That is. That's rough. The battle's giving them a run for their money.
The Don fan, of course, able to make quick work of the uh, Venusaur with Aero Blast. The champ yep. is definitely having issues because uh, King was able to do some good damage and looks like the champ is definitely having a bit of accuracy issues. Machamp tends to, though. I don't know why specifically Machamp, but... Oh, poor Don fan. Got kicked by a crab. Looks like Anishi is going to use an Uldron, perhaps to fish out more Pokémon for, uh... Probably for Protect, Detect, and Door. Yeah. And also, he... I'd imagine he knows he's behind, too, so he's gonna try and bank on find, get finding something for Protect, Detect, and Dur, or something on the card. Though so Detect, Protect, and Dur does give them a... No, it doesn't. I don't know why. I marked that on my card. <laughs> Needle King, Needle Queen is not something we have information on at the moment. I don't need to mark that. Never I mind. I think all the runners should have Fampy info. I think it was a, on a trainer. Nice. So, you, there's two ways to that goal for those who saw the Teddy Ursa on Route 29. I imagine that's where most people will go to get that goal if they uh, need it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And it looks like Hauk doesn't really trust his Machamp, given that he seems to be saving before every fight. Uh, that's fair, though. Especially when you have accuracy issues. Very and after that Venusaur very... fight, too, you definitely don't want to do that again. Okay. So I think Cypress is the furthest ahead progress-wise, is that correct? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <clears throat> With Rain Man close behind. Uh, looks like there was a Porygon in the well as a wild encounter. It's also the 14. Nice. And it explodes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a... Uh... Oh. oh no, that was his only Pokemon. Ouch. Good thing he stopped by the center, though. I think it's standard practice for everyone to stop by Azalea Center, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's why you do it. Is Cypress looking for a poke in the well? He Maybe? is. Uh, what did he see? I've only seen a... Oh, he wants another Pokemon so he doesn't die instantly to self destruct Oh, that makes sense. Okay. At least if I had to get Sight, he might have another Pokemon, but... Or maybe it's just so he has another uh, Heal Slave. It's possible he doesn't, because he's still running his starter. And was Cypress the one who repelled through Route 30, or was that...? He was, yes, so that's yeah. sure he liked it. <clears throat> no, no, so... no, that was energy. That was energy. Okay. Well, there still wasn't anything good on Route 30, so... Well, I mean, there were... No, that was 29 that had the dump fan, right? Right. 29 had the dump fan. All 30 had was a potential uh, Blastoise, essentially. Yeah. And Cypress so predicts again that the Porygon is going to self-destruct him. Porygon also has Petal Dance, though, so... Yeah, it's going to be... I don't know if the Rockets have good AI or not, but it does seem they do, for, to me at least. Yeah. And the champ learns double kick, which is really good for its hey. uh, <laughs> really That's good for its really, really good for its uh really good for its blindness, but it doesn't help him get past the ghost falls, so um, wait he's got a RB. I mean ghosts aren't real. I'm pretty sure. And Rainman has taken Jinx info from the right twin, I believe. Oh, sweet. And meanwhile, Hawk's also doing that, so he'll also have the Jinx info, but Looks like this, uh... And Electrode info. <laughs> Nobody runs an Electrode, but it does no, mean not... that he... Yeah. Like, not to it run, does count but towards if... the, uh... It does count towards the, uh... To ele defeat two Electrodes, so... Yeah. Maybe he doesn't have to go down, because there's... Oh, an Elegant oh, info on left win. Or, is that right? I don't know. Either way, information, it looks like. Okay, so it was left, I guess, at the... Interesting. It looks like everyone's saving to fight everyone in the Azalea Gym. Hmm. I 
Guess they all don't, none of them trust their mains or they don't trust their ROM because it's no better ROM. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable not trusting your main. And Don Fan is learning Headbutt, which is, uh. That's the man chooses not to take. I guess he prefers the three stat. Three, uh, moves with type effectiveness, and he wants to keep Sandstorm for his goal, so. I can, I can respect that. That's fair. Okay, so it was a Don Fan that had Sandstorm then. Okay. I'm paying attention. Okay, I think most of the rhymes will have the Jinx info given that. I think this is on Benny, is it? Uh, no, this, no, it's on, it's on Faulkner. Okay, I see. Oh, no I way. Can't keep it straight. Okay, so guaranteed Jinx info. And, and it looks like everyone but Hauk will have Quagsire info. Nice. Still, maybe the rock type move will pay off for Hauk for the Lorenzo Trittini, but that has yet to be seen. The Pinsir was definitely a solid, solid starter choice, even this late into the game. Hmm. Don't know. Okay, we have one bingo that we have enough information for at this point. In Is column five. Mm. Oh, I would have guessed it was called. It was row four. Uh. Oh, we also have row four. Okay. So there's two bingos we have thus far. Um. Another number two unreasonable, depending on where things are located. Sand slash isn't that on the card? My man is a gun run. Given that uh, you ran away, it so. probably isn't. Nope. I think Sand Slash's goal is exclusive with the uh, Fanfi Teddy Ursa goal, but I could be mistaken on that. Because I know the way the card is set up, a lot of goals are mutually exclusive of each other. Like the Stone Evolutions, you can only have at max, at most two. Because all of them except for... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Meanwhile, how Hakuri getting, getting info from his rival that the others don't. He, his oh. rival had a Totoda, which is really good for that center goal. Oh, nice. As well as Machamp learning Sludge Bomb for a little extra coverage. Still keeping Aurora Beam on it, though. Aurora Beam's really how he's going to have to break through. St no, no, he's got Fighting Titan Moves for the steals. Yeah. Never mind. I mean, maybe it'll do more damage against the Gengar than Sludge Bomb, but. I don't know. Uh, yeah, ghost. That's really bad, Sludge Bomb. Yeah. I still think that'd be pretty close. Okay. So it looks like we had Cypress and Rain Man both go for the item or extra item in the forest, or maybe not Rain Man. I was not Rain Man. Rain forest. Man's checking what they are, but he his bag is full, so he's not picking them up. Yeah. Well, he definitely wants this nugget based on his movement just there. So yeah. I'm guessing he's gonna toss something. It's your dragon thing. Yeah, nuggets are pretty, pretty worth it. It's really hard to say no to 5k money. Yeah. But mm. man, this is a pretty. Uh... This isn't exactly a good card for getting early goals, it seems. Yeah. Only the fa only the Teddy Arson on Route 29, but it didn't show back up. Might be a 10%. Uh, Anishi, though, has done a good job catching up to the other runners, being much further behind at Faulkner. Yeah, He's but his, still... his uh, excursion through uh, Sprout Tower definitely is letting him catch up faster. Yeah. His, uh, a bit extra experience. Which is always nice. Okay. I wonder if Ooh, anyone's gonna check plus. the. Uh, I wonder if anyone's gonna check the Golden Rod Shop TMs because that can really, for Hulk especially, you could round out his boost set. Yeah. I wouldn't count. Is there anybody else who has Ghost Bolt? 
I don't think so, no. Pinsir's okay. got Thunder Punch at, at minimum. I don't really know too much what it had. Uh, Dawn Fan has a lot of good moves. Yeah. And the King Draw has a, quite a few, a few good moves. And if nothing else, they're not far from Surf. Which will help uh, I'd, everybody. I'd, I've learned to not rely on Surf too much to fix a main, given that how, given how uh, deep in it is. But it can, That's uh, fair. Uh, it can push it over from, do I take this to... Yes, I can take this. Alkari is choosing True. to evolve the victory vic to victory bell. Yes. Four so, I was confused ground. a little bit. At first, Cypress also did that. I think it's because of 30 plus owned column 5 row 1. And it's also, an easy way to get another Pokemon. Mm. And also, row 1 call, call 3 is on the card as I guess evolve for. Oh! No, okay. I'm just blind. <laughs> That's my specialty. And the Kenya is a Chikorita! I imagine a lot of our racers are gonna evolve it up to Bailey for the Eagle. So Hawk's info was not as useful as he would have hoped it to be. He doesn't know that yet, but he's gonna be a little disappointed, probably. Yeah. Although it's hard to it's hard to turn down free uh, free info essentially. Yeah. In before Shucky is like uh, Cyndaquil. That would hurt. <laughs> but I'm more willing to bet Chucky would be a Nido Queen. Oof. So we have a Gloom on a Nishi. I would have caught the Gloom for Evolves, but whatever works. Uh, I find usually you can, uh, you can pass up catching pokes like that for, uh, Guaranteed, they just based on what you're going to be finding anyway. Like... Yeah, but if it's in front of you. Rain Man taking the TM, which turns out to be Bone Club, which is not a bad move, I'd say. Not at all. Brown type, it definitely hurt, help, definitely helps his main to get for stab. But unfortunately, it wasn't TM34. Or fortunately, if he wants to teach it. Oh, true. Is Enishi sweet scenting? He might be. Um. Oh no, it was just a random encounter. Okay, unless he's yellowing. Because your things have happened. Even though we don't have a Tamo in this race. Hmm. Looks like Cypress is indeed just going to catch whatever shows up on screen for uh, 30 owned. wonder if it showed him all yeah. his moves beforehand and that's why he didn't check for... Uh, for... Oh, it looks like it might have had Rock-type move. Oh. Well, that works out. That's another reason to catch... There's a lot of reasons to catch a lot of random Pokemon on this card. Yeah, but I feel like uh, Protect, Detect, and Door is going to be even rarer than the Rock-type move. Yeah, but... Yeah. Shelter info, which uh, doesn't exactly uh, not on the card, but it is, but it is in uh, thirty folks zones, and it's also an easy evo if you want to go for that. Yeah. And looks doesn't like hurt. there's a whooper in the gym. I think that's <laughs> so, on Whitney. So there's so going to be info. some information. There's going to be some information that Hal commits from from Rival. So yeah. overall, it looks like Rival didn't give out too much exclusive info, just maybe one other path. Yeah. I get the feeling that might change with Rival 3. Hopefully, it'll keep things interesting. Hmm. And Cypress already has the coin case. I'm guessing he's gonna be checking for a uh, coin kit. Checking what pokes are in the game corner. Not a bad yeah. attempt strategy to do. Especially when you're going down to fight the Pokemaniacs, regardless. True, very true. Gengar certainly seems to be having an easy time against. Yeah. Uh oh, it looks like Rain Man's screen is having a little bit. having a few issues with Rain Man's screen. I'm not one to uh, 
to judge on that front, but I think you might be right. And it looks like we're fine. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely not one to judge either. Yeah. <laughs> PowerPoint. PowerPoint.ptx or whatever it is. <laughs> Given that the nobody said it's a Saturday, it looks like it, I think everyone did indeed said it's Friday. Yeah. It looks like nobody's gonna use the uh, gonna go for our son Colberry and uh, TM34 to, to check T the uh, TM in a uh, park as well. Yeah. You can always come back later, but hopefully Everstone Goldberry won't be a required. True. Oh, hopefully it's uh, not ex uh, as long as Clefable would be tough is there. It's not that bad a goal. Well, yeah. Well, protect the second door is probably not going to exist given that it's on the card. Although if it's going to exist anywhere, I would check the. That's personal preference though. Looks like Hakuri's gonna check it anyway. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Place. Must be banking on skipping Everstone Goldberry then. Or... Oh, never mind. Never mind. He's just grabbing the one <laughs> I did. You're just trying to make fun of us. I see how it is. Well, I'm gonna full commentator curse him to have a flawless rest of the run. No bonks. Fortunately, Sudowoodo is not on the card, nor is Cubone, so I, I imagine most of our runners are going to probably run from it. Yeah, that's what I most runners like do. Much. I know I like to catch it, catch it if there's a catch goal on the card or a move goal yeah. on the card, just in, on the off chance. I mean, 330s is on the card, but there's still better opportunities than that. Hmm. And Rain Man's starting off against the Kimono Girls. Let's see which five Pokemon they have to face to take down here. Rapidash is probably going to be fodder for a phone club. Oh, but not yeah. if it has... Okay, Pedal Dance didn't do as much as I was expect expecting. Sorry for cars outside. Our runners are still pretty darn close, all things considered. Ooh. Cypress had an unfortunate extreme speed to wake up on uh, that Pidgey. Yep. That's really... Probably the worst thing to see in that situation. Okay. But at least he has the knowledge this time, so he should be able to get through it, no problem. <laughs> Okay, sorry, windows shut. We shouldn't have more car noise. That was kind of through my mind. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Cypress making the good move of healing out of that E speed range. Doing almost <laughs> basically a third of his health. This is, yeah. is going to be an expensive win, though. Stab E speed. Oh, it's got oh. milk drink. What kind of randomizer? <laughs> That pigeon is made to hurt. Yeah, dang. At least there was plenty of money on this room. Still though, that's not what you want to see. And Hit it looks like the runners will. Yeah, Hit on top info from one of the Kimono girls. Everyone's gonna have it, and it's definitely gonna. Yeah. Definitely makes that goal possible. Which I doesn't open up a uh, bingo yet. We'll see. Looks like Alex uh, taking the yeah. wipe. I is No, oh, he has he revives. Had, he has revives. He's using revives to heal the paralysis as well, which I can I I agree with that move. Yeah. Small choice. Who needs full heals when you have revives? I mean, it's likely our runners probably only have one Paralyzed Cure Berry since it's on the card, essentially. <laughs> yeah. And I really do not want to give that up and try to remember which tree it specifically gives those Paralyzed Cure Berries. I believe it's the one in Violet? Yep, one south of Faulkner's Tomb. 
And that's the only one I know of offhand, but eh. Let's see. Rain Man navigating to v Rival 3. We'll see what different info they've got. A Smeargle, that's... Interesting. And... Ooh, a Togepi. I'm sensing a theme. I think the theme is Dying to Dawn Fan. Oh, that's and Needle it. King info. That's gonna be huge for everyone but Hulk. <laughs> Unless he also has Needle King info somehow. Knowing this game, it's probably gonna be a Needle Queen instead. Oh, true. Feel bad for the poor soul who picks up Smoochum as her starter then. And meanwhile, Rayman's about to find out which roamers are there. What the, what pokes the roamers are. Of course, <laughs> we won't know until Anna she gets there, but Rayman at least knows or at least has some idea. And how is teaching his Machamp Surf? I don't recall Machamp having that big a special attack stat. Is my audio been cutting in and out? Uh, I don't think you've been uh, speaking recently. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, I'll double check on my internet then. That's... whoops. <laughs> that explains a little bit. <laughs> 65? Yeah, that's a little low. Guess you can use it, but I... Definitely wouldn't uh, rely too much on him in the end game. But yeah. unfortunately, he's committed his um, with champ to having a special attack in the end game. Not really getting any info out of it, out of uh, Rifle, it seems. Not the end of the world, though. Like, the Needle King, Needle Queen info is nice, but we're still missing out. On that being a crazy useful goal. Yeah, we need Protect, Detect, Endure, or Clefable would be tough, and then Mia Tomb, Mia Selby. Yeah. And that Pinsir is still a monster, still having Earthquake. Jeez. Bold giving your rival a Pinsir, but. Bold is what experienced runners have to do. Well, not necessarily, but... I think he's gonna be caught in the heal loop. Meanwhile, Rain Man... Meanwhile, everyone else is having a fairly easy time getting through Ooh. their trainers. One hit point. Rain Man's almost at the Morty point. He's got, definitely got a pretty good uh, lead. <laughs> yeah, that Tom fan's coming clutch. Even though it's a female. Yeah, I'd normally be uh, saddened at the uh, at the female, but it seems like this Dawn fan doesn't care that it's female. And it's, I imagine it probably has uh, seven IV DB attack. Oh, self-destruct Earth Ring! Ouch! That's an angry bear. Hope he's got a revive. And he probably does, given that Rain Man yeah. had us, how great had three. Yep, he's got three as well. And it looks like you guys know what the Ramas are. I don't give an I don't have the audio on. Uh, Snubber, can we get a heads up on what the uh, Ramas If I had to guess, I would say they are Entei and Reikau. Bold choice. Two of them are Entei. That's my guess. 
very bold choice. And another Jinx. What is up with Jinx being on a- is this- is this the keys drop? Oh, the leader's having Jinx. I guess the Weedle Wimp was pretty good if you want to use it for, uh, oh. for Evolving 4. Fair enough. Although his Ace Lapras is going to be difficult to deal with. I think it has a, a defense boosting move. Quillfish, so Moltres, and Eevee. So what I'm hearing is that was close. Mm, sure. Sure. <laughs> In the same way Christopher Columbus was close. Yeah. I was... I was in the right first two gens. I didn't <laughs> guess the wrong gens this time. Doesn't really seem to be too much crazy on this car. On this card ROM combo. Not quite uh, yet. It seems the info is coming is coming decently, not freely, but decently. Oh, Igglybuff, yeah. that is technically Wigglytuff info, but I wouldn't really consider it that. I think yeah. the runners also saw a Cleffa. Oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> there's a Wigglytuff! <laughs> that, that's a little better info. And that's on the last, yes? That is, so it is likely our run the rest of the run will see it. Technically an optional, but given the fact she's a goal, yeah. we're gonna see... So I'm still missing info on, looks like, three goals? Four goals. Protect, Detect, Endure, <laughs> Need to be New Sabi, and... Swagger. I guess, sure. I can count. Let's see. Yeah, our runners are close. I estimate that Cypress is no more than 10 minutes behind Rayman, I'd say. It's all in all a very close round, even with uh, Cypress. <clears throat> all in all, a close race. Imagine a lot of our runners are probably going to check the uh, rocket high down TN eventually, given that it also helps them for the electrode. And who knows? Maybe there'll be there'll be swagger there, and that's going to be column two they can easily do. Long shot, but maybe. Yeah, that would be ideal. We're running out of places for swagger, so we still have plenty, but Pickens getting slim. And we'll see shortly what Rayman has picked up as the Shucky. Okay. It's a Dugong. Nice. Oh, it looks like Rain has taught strength through Kenya. 
because he's uh, committing to uh, not giving it back when he goes to ground. No, wait, no, he already has an experience share because it was on the ground on uh, Route 31, was it? Oh, I missed that, but I believe you. I always love when that happens. Oh, our first goal in a long time. I sense there must be quite a bit of delay <laughs> between the oh, guard yeah. and the, uh... Yep, yep there he is. Boat, fine. Oh, okay. I into the solid boat. Hmm. Looks like Hauk's deposited his berries, most likely. It's gonna have he's counted and then see he has all seven types in it. That's nice. Looks like he's counting right now. Yep. Yeah, they're still really close. Rain Man's got a respectable progress lead at this point, but still anybody's game. Indeed. Again, I, know, I estimate that Cypress is no more than 10 minutes behind. Yeah. Probably much less. He's getting the, the debated info. They're like, ah, that's technically info. And so, oh, that's actually info. Doesn't seem to be anything too notable in Chuck's gym. Whether yeah. fight wise or info wise. Which is always nice to see. There was a Do Duo, a Four Alligator, and now just a Dog Trio. Two more battles left for something crazy to pop up. And five moms with which to do it. Yep. See what happens. Ooh, an Ekans. That's pretty scary. Not maybe it has. Not for a bone glove, Don fan. I was gonna say maybe it secretly had Levitate, a Lock On, and Horn Drill. Even though Mankey most of it's been. Oh man, that Mankey has Drill Pack. I'm. I'm interested to see how how that. Although yeah, granted, he... it is a one stage one, so it. Yeah. Not gonna be fine. I think Hulk's over level enough that it shouldn't be an issue, but. Still. And Machamp is a bit bulky, so yeah. I don't imagine it I don't imagine it'll give many problems. Yeah, if it was running a Hitmon Lee it'd be a different question. But Ice Punch Baby not to. That might prove a small issue for Yeah, I'll blast takes care of it. Yeah. Looks like Chuck's gonna be a pushover there today. Aw, poor Chuck. Only thing notable is that Sand Tree might be able to burn. So, that Frolicator on Anishi's screen just showed Ancient Power, which is info on a rock type move. And it showed it to the one person who needs that info. Yep. Very interesting. Arguably, Rain Man would, would have liked that info as well, but. I think he I think he considers himself basically done with fights anyway, so I don't think he's gonna care too much. Yeah. So I hear that. Yeah, we're in go mode. Give or take. Um uh, I imagine that uh we're gonna see the shiny before we see a little bit of cleanup. One, two, three, four. Technically, there's enough on the board for a Cinco at this point that we have info on, but... And Rayman has found an Everstone right outside of Mount Mortar. Let's go! That, that's an item that basically nobody checks, so that's going to save him a ton of time. Dude, I was doing a race yesterday, and that was an Everstone there as well. I swear, it's always an Everstone. That's definitely going to be a huge advantage to him, given that barely anyone ever checks that item. At that yeah, point. and that's not something you can really meta either. People could easily assume he went to the contest for that. Yeah, it's at fifty-four minutes. I meant, I imagine they're going to be a met. I imagine they're going to be more likely to think he picked it off a of Pokemon. That's true too. 
a little too early to go back for bug catching. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. So many FMs this round. I mean, to be fair, we're gonna see them four times each time it shows up. Oh, that's a different... okay. <laughs> I know how this game works. Uh, oh, and that's gonna ruin his uh, info game. He just found TM34 near TM10. That's gonna tell everyone where it is. Ah, uh, unless he goes for the big brain play and flies away. No, he already he already marked it. Dang it. <laughs> that might clue them into where the Everstone Goldberry could be, but I think they're more Unlike likely to consider it's it's gonna be in the Lake of Rage area rather than Portor. Yeah. Might be a last desperation play, Hail, Hail Mary play, but it's a possibility that we'll have to see what, what our runners choose to do. Yeah. Meanwhile, Anishi and Halkiri are finishing off Chuck right now. Ooh. So they're going to be hot on their tail and going to grab those two TM goals soon. Got ourselves a red rock. With self-destruct! Oof. That is going to hurt. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder apparently how many Chuck of our... gave... Apparently Chuck gave out uh, Octazooka, so maybe people might go uh, water type for uh, four moves sharing the type. Cool. True. I mean, and Rayman get... saying, nope, screw this, he's just gonna yell ball the golem until he, uh... until he gets it in. I mean, he has plenty Not of balls. Not risking the... Yeah, I think he considers it more likely that he finds the, uh... that he gets the... and he does. Before, before he's able to uh, have a survivor hit him on the fur, it's a matter. And it looks like Enishi has correctly metagamed where that Everstone is, given that he also yeah. grabs, it, grabs it. See what Halk does in a second. Looks like he got bike shop, so we'll see in a minute. So. Okay, yeah, it looks like that TM10 10 play gave everyone the info as to where the Everstone was. Mm hmm. Except for... I mean, at this point, Cypress can probably meta it, but... Hmm. And Jinx is only in Burned, which is the worst. It's not the best, either. Yeah. Kinda hurts, but... Oh, right, there was a Magma. <laughs> Mag Speaking of worse... <laughs> Hit him on top. Hit him on top. Mortar, uh, Burned, and, and Dark Cave. Seems like Burnt's gonna be a play. Oh, Middle King doesn't <laughs> exist either. Or <laughs> all wins is cursed. This is definitely a snow bear rom. Uh, nice. Wiggly tough. Ice path and and uh, Union, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, they will be going back to Union, so maybe you can do a little bit of yellowing for it, but. Union's kind of the worst to try to search for, though. Because yeah. if you find out if you find out the poke's on Route 30, oh, it's probably in the water, given that no one saw it. Find out the poke's But Union, Union is, a, is one that everyone seems to uh, repel through. Yep. So you have to check all three floors with all ten slots per floor, seven, seven Ks and three surf encounters each. It doesn't hurt to check a couple encounters while you're there, but I wouldn't Again? bang on it. Did Enishi get a um, encounter? Oh, on like a, on the way to uh, Lake of Rage, actually. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I thought on the way to Shiny, he got uh, hit by something. Uh, Rayman is knocked out in a, a Zoom Rail. He, oh, it was on a uh, it was on one of the Pokemaniacs, so he's got info for both the Zoom Rail and Pikesar. Nice. That goal is gonna be that goal is gonna be easy for him, and I think that I don't know if he goes for the column or not. Already owned isn't really. It's probably the worst goal to try to get. Yeah. Unless you, unless you do Tomo or Sandy strats and just catch ev catch everything in Dark Fell. I mean, even if you don't do that, it's still feasible, especially if you're gonna Yolo somewhere like Burnt Tower. And it looks like Energy is caught up to Cypress, or no, the other way around. Cypress is caught up to Energy. Nice. And yeah, everyone found, figured out where the gold, where the Everstone was from. Uh, 
<clears throat> from Rain Man. Looks like Rain Man is going for uh, price for the uh, sixth badge. Guessing he's Which putting that middle. He's putting row three on his path. Which yeah. is a pretty good path. Which is a pretty good one, I'd say. And worst case scenario, going for. Uh, is it price or price? I forget in this gen. I don't hear that it's price. Price, probably. I don't know. And then also. Whichever one it is. Yeah, it would also give him access to where islands if he goes that desperation, but I think he's gonna search for other things. Yeah. Did we see where Azu or Quagsire were? Or not yet? I don't recall. Uh Azumaru was was found after the uh okay. was found after the deck searching, so we don't know yet. How Kari meanwhile was tra checking trap Pokemon, and I don't recall seeing Quagsire being looked up. Okay. Meanwhile, Rayman's using the uh, experience from from the sixth badge to evolve, evolve, and he gets them to, the two together. That's really convenient, especially given Paracross is dead to an air blast. <laughs> yep. I imagine we'll see how Kari uh, mark his second the feed second electrode very soon. It's oh no way! So he does he escape it? To yeah, avoid that's a good question. It? I mean, if anyone goes for the uh, Electros, they're gonna they're gonna know that it's a Needle Queen first, anyway. So I don't know if you would do that or not. Nope. Given that he hasn't marked it yet, yet I'm gonna guess he escaped ropes out of there and just hopes he can find an Electro later. Oh nope, he's just marked it. I I yeah. ignore it. I think it's fair enough to assume they're gonna run into that regardless. That does solve the Needle King problem, though. It does, but it also does. Um, it does signal to the other runners that hey, this is a priority to get. Yeah. A Weedle. I could catch that honestly for the evolved four. Yeah. Even if even at highest of level as it is, two levels isn't that bad. For half a goal. And it looks like Rayman has found his Jinx. Nice. Imagine he'll stay to try to get the other Pokemon here and the uh, Wiggly Tough, oh, no, right? Was it... was it a Wiggly Tough or was it a Hit on Top here? Ooh, I don't remember where Hit on Top was, and I think it was New was New Needle King was in where all me. Yeah. So yeah, it was a Wiggly Tough or Hit on Top, but I imagine he'll stay in for the other poke and then go yeah. to uh, go to Rocket Hideout. How can I buy escape ropes or something? Because I don't usually see people walk that way. Walk you to might not It's conceivable, because not many marts sell them, and if you didn't do Sprout, then there's not too much of a reason to buy one. I believe uh, Azalea sells them as well, but true. Yes. Those are only two I can remember, though, with improved marts. Cypress is going for the double Bailey six badges strat as well. Not bad. I definitely see row three as being part of the everyone's path given how easy it is. Yeah. Unless uh, Snow Bear was secretly a five percent. Looks like Rain Man's found his Hitmon- He found a Hitmon Chan instead! Yo, let's go! So if it was Wigglytuff in there, Burn Tower might be loaded. We'll see after this. 
I'm wondering about his movement if he's checking the TM for something. I can't fathom what he's looking for right now, but we'll see what he does with it. Probably for money for a game corner, I guess. Is game corner on the card? Oh, because he. Uh, okay, no, never mind. I uh, know, but you're going to be gra grabbing the two maniacs there anyway. So True. you may as well grab the. the uh, suspension may as well grab the coin case and check what the yeah. uh, game corner is. MSG is going for Roar. Guessing he. Yeah, Rogue Column 2 is definitely on most people's path, I assume. Yeah. Column 2 is likely, Row 3 is likely. You know, Hellcrete's play actually... Hellcrete Hel giving away Needle Queen info doesn't actually give give the runners anything, any extra incentive to go there, given that Mewtwo and Mewtwo don't exist yet, and Protect, Detect, and Duo are, are probably not going to be found if they haven't been found already. Fair enough. That is a good point. Because, yeah, without the Mewtwo and Mewtwo or Protect the Tector, you can't convert it into a bingo. Yeah. Hmm. Rain Man definitely coming for the Electros and the Needle Queen. We'll see if how long it takes him to find the Needle Queen. Looks like he's going based off Cries, which... I'm not surprised. He's pretty sure he's one of the ones good enough to uh, know Pokemon by the Christ. Yeah. I see a Clefairy on Cypress's screen. I think that's from one of the Maniacs, so that goal is definitely going to have the info for it. Assuming it exists. There's three Pokemon, and unless it's Peak Snow Bear Rom, it's going to be. There's going to be something they can do. <laughs> True. Row two, row three, call two are definitely going to be on most people's paths. It looks like. Yeah. I wonder if Rain Man is got. I can definitely see him, Rain Man, going for those. I wonder if he's gonna put, put a uh, top right, bottom left, and call five on his path with uh, thirty on. But that would still be very difficult. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, he can do he can do um, row four, row four instead as well. Two th rows, two, three, four, call two, and then hope to find something. I guess call three is definitely a possibility. Yeah. There's enough there's enough essentially guarantee goals on this card, I'd say. Yeah. At this point, it's a matter of execution. Holy cow, Azumarill is in everywhere, including Pal- inc not Pallet Town. New Bark. New Bark. Nice. That's good to hear. Oh, there's- It uh, looks like Cypress recognized the- you checked an Eevee, so it sounds like he recognized... Eevee oh, but that was the Suicune. I'm guessing it's for uh, Vol 4 pokes. True. Of course, it's still anyone's game. and We'll see how the uh, info, and, info and luck comes together to give everyone everything. It looks like Enishi's gonna just say, I can't use the Needle Queen for a bingo, I'm gonna kill him anyway. Or or maybe he's just Fair having enough. a catching it. Yeah, it looks like more like he's having- Okay, he caught it. He did catch it. He just had trouble damaging it because Surf would kill it and Rolling Kick's doing nothing, essentially. Hulk, find, Hulk and Rain Man, apparently, uh, I'm guessing a uh, Pokemania has hit my Lee info, yeah. so... 
if they can't find the Hitmon top and burn throw and they don't get lucky with the Hitmon Chan either, they can just look up the Hitmon Lee. As yeah. I imagine they're gonna prefer going for the Hitmon Lee instead. It's gonna be a race to see who gets their first bingo. I think uh Enishi has the advantage there. Mm -hmm. Our the Rayman, if he gets finds the Pokemaniacs he needs, he can get that done quick. Not and like it looks like Enishi had, to, had his uh, seven berries and just verified that. So he's got the first bingo. Yay! So this is a Cinco bingo. So you need Cinco bingos. Like Hawk's done with his Evos. Okay, we have Hulk doing a Dex. What is he looking for? Yeah, Ozzy's everywhere. Not gonna be happy with Magmar. Nor Jean. Again, she's heading to Blackthorn City. I wonder what he's Interesting. going for. Perhaps he's going for the level 30 in the cave. Uh, let okay. me know if you can hear drumming. Somewhat. Okay, I'll talk to my brother. Cypress, meanwhile, checking his Pokemon for moves. Doesn't look like he's going to find anything. I suppose I suppose uh Enishi did set his today daytime I think. So he's so he can do that instead of going for the uh Suicune instead. Plus so you might get lucky a nice path, unlike what this Cedra is suggesting. Remind me what was in Ice Path. Cedra and Abra so far. Nothing of note. I remember one of the things on the card was, but I don't remember which. Clefairy, thank you. So that he could also. And you could also be going through that while he's here. Oh, Cypress done? What? Done with what? Oh! He caught Spike Cargo. Zepdos, don't do that. 
I was like, wait, can I not count? He needs to be holding up black glasses, and black glasses has to be on the card for the that to count. True. Same with shiny Pokemon. Or rather, same with a full odd shiny. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Looks like Raymond's not having luck finding the Azumarill he knows is here. I'm guessing it's a 10%. Yeah. And it's Alcari's a bunch of other places, so could be worth checking there, too. It doesn't come up. Alkari finally finds the Jinx he was looking for here, and he, the card definitely shows he caught it. Yep. Darn card spoiling. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and she's definitely looking for the Clefairy here, given that he's just continuing to sweet scent. It doesn't hurt. It's not exactly the best place to look, though, given the uh, sheer number of floors and encounter slots to check. Yeah, but it beats, like, uh, Rural Islands. I don't remember what, with uh, Clef if we see saw where uh, Wigglytuff was. I didn't notice either. I'm assuming it's not somewhere because he's going through with this, but... Cer cer certainly seems like it. Otherwise, I would've just, uh... How big a meme was it? <sighs> oh, God. Would be tough, might doesn't exist, so it might be fishing only, or just you know, rock smash, or maybe even headbutt, which is uh, it's. And how Kree has found the Teddy Ursa he was searching for. Let's see if he goes for the nickname or not. If he's going oh. to to pray to the Rom. Definitely gotta watch to see if it's got any of the uh, if it's got any of the three moves that are important. Yep. Showed two of them. Doubtful it has them on the other two. Not nicknaming. How dare he? I'm very disappointed. It's a race. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very <laughs> close race. I can understand it. He doesn't know that. I mean, you can see <laughs> it's a close race based on the. Uh, Oh, fair enough. Based on the card. Boo. Teach using the Teddy Ursa to... Okay. Using the Teddy Ursa for four moves sharing its types. That gives him another bink. That gives him oh, a bink. Oh, that's what he's... <laughs> that makes so much more sense. <laughs> when you're already catching the Teddy Ursa, you may as well have teached the four moves for the normal type. I was so confused. <laughs> and Raymond has finally fa found the quack the Azumarill he was searching for. Nice. Spent a lot of time on that, but what you have to do. And Anishi having the Clefairy I was looking for. <laughs> See which floor it's on. On the floor with the TM. Ah. Okay. Uh, yes, Fan is a meme, given that it's in tin. Poor Fan <laughs> <laughs> It's no fair. Yeah, that's what I—that's what I thought he was doing at first. Like, but instead of okay, trying to Quagsire doesn't around. exist, so the only hope is the Azumarill in uh, New Bark Town, or you try your hand at Union or uh, Slowpoke. Yep. I think Slowpoke would be reasonable, but... Maybe if it's King's Rock or the uh, Unfound TM was on the card. Yeah. Might be worth checking the TM just in the off chance it's Protect Detect Ender. Maybe. I... Although this late into the ROM, probably not worth it. Yeah, I take the... At this point, I take the uh, signal of... Uh... Nobody's found it as it does. Basically, it's, it doesn't exist. Don't don't count on it. Yeah.
And how could he go into a, to Ruins of Hell for his third bingo, it looks like. Or no, second. It's hard, it's always hard to tell. Counting is so hard. Is it Waterfall Locked Snow Bear? <clears throat> oh no, Cypress is looking for the uh, Oof. 30, it looks like, but it's, he's in the wrong time of day. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no, the 30 isn't in that grass. It's in the cave. It's also on that grass during the daytime. Is it? I think it's also only in the cave during daytime. It's only in the cave during daytime. Okay, okay yeah, it it is definitely in that grass as well. Huh. Oh, and oh. Wiggly Tuff is apparently off. Okay. Uh, it was Quagsire. That doesn't exist, I saw. But if Wiggly Tough was a nice path, then yeah, it makes sense that you'd be searching for for either Wiggly Tough or the uh, Clefairy. Mm -hmm. There. There's going to be so many different paths to, uh, so many different ways to get tr to try to get to, uh, to try to get to that fifth bingo. That's just going to be hard, that's just going to be, uh, difficult because of Mewtwo, Mew Celebi, 330s, and the Protect, Detect, and Door. Yeah. I think that, because he's already got it, Rain Man's got the best chance. Also, thank you, Snowbear. It is day only in the grass. I wasn't aware you also could go there. Rain Man's gonna either have to clock change anyway. You're gonna have to either clock change for the 30, or he's gonna have to uh, go to the Sages for the Eevee. Yeah. Hmm. I think the clock change would probably be faster if he's comfortable with it. But. The Eevee would give him an evolution at this point. Yeah, I think he's at three at uh, one of them, and he can easily get to the two more with... Oh, wait, who had the Weedle? I think it was Halko had the Weedle. Yes. I wonder if she's going to find that catch that Krabby for trade it. Nope. Oh. And before it was Mew. It's probably not. Yeah. It's never. So one in... Will correct us if we're wrong. And it's a 3 in 252 chance. Yep, Rain's going for the, Rain Man's going for the uh, clock change, given that he's stuck on the his uh, trainer card. Yeah. I think it's the best option. Meanwhile, Cypress is evolving up his pokes. Probably gonna get, get that uh, goal out of the way right now. Yeah. Or not. I guess he's... Oh, uh, I guess they're probably in his, uh, PC. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. There's a Hitmon top on a Nishi screen. And... He's already got the he's, he's already got a Hitmon chan. Nah, okay. Oh, he's looking for Jinx. Gotcha. He's unfortunately on the wrong floor, so we'll see him... Head up, uh, he's, I see. Not Hank's Jinx is on that floor. That's where Hulk got it. Was it? I saw one of the riders get Jinx on floor one. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Floor two, floor basement was where we saw the Hitmonchan. And I guess it might Oh. Okay. And apparently Slide Cargo. And Rayman has gotten his uh, third level 30. Nice. What's he doing in Ilex? Uh... That's... a great question. Did he deck something in Ilex? Or... He must have. See what he decks... Oh, please don't tell me. <laughs> he is not going to, is he? I wonder what he's doing. 
Um, <laughs> that is the question of the hour. Definitely not going for the Cleffa. Well, Maybe yeah. he's slot checking, hoping for luck? Oh, it could be going. For... No. Yeah, I think he's just slot checking. Okay. Ooh, looks like Hulk forgot a puzzle or had to step away. It is, isn't Teddy Ursa there. Looks, I think Energy found a Teddy Ursa in its vanilla location. It's not what? there. I forgot about that. That's annoying. Running bears. Hmm. And she's looking for the for the level 30. He's got the right time of day, and but it it can take a while for it to show up. Yeah. But that's an important goal right now. I'm surprised Rayman didn't catch that Fero for far moves sharing its type. Maybe he has something else he's banking on. Oh! Interesting. And she found the Pokemon to protect the second door. It's the area. Do Is it? Interesting. It's gotta be the area dose he found. Yeah. I think. Given that, I think Rayman has to check it. If Rayman checks it, that area dose, that's gonna be huge. I don't know if he would necessarily think of it though. They were marked at the same time. He might see that, and he might uh, might see that in the login. He might think, huh? Maybe it's the EV, or maybe it's the area air dose I found as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wouldn't hurt the jack, but... Oh, it's a slowpoke? Oh. I thought it was the area dust. Whoops, sorry. I sorry I didn't see you. Ooh. It's a teleport bear. Oh, Harry does has protect as well. Rainman's checking the TMs, desperate for the for the protect detect and door for sure. Yeah. We'll see if he if he thinks to check his mons, see if they've got it. And he does, it looks like, so he's got that's I think that gives him the five bingos he needs for the win. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's it does. He just has, he to, just he has, has to, to dot them. Dot Good game. Sudden win. Out of nowhere. To be fair, he had three goals, and that was just the fifth goal he needed. Yeah. Based on what's left, I think that, uh... I think that Hulk has the best chance of coming in third. I mean, second. Yeah. We shouldn't be placing bets for third quite yet. So I imagine Hulk is going for the 30s right now. So 30. Yeah, also, the Inkling that 
You also have a uh, hint that it's going to carry protect the tactical door. Yeah. True. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Rain Man, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Good game. What did you think of the ROM? I think the ROM was fine for the most part. Uh, the Dawn fan I found was so super runnable and I didn't want to run the pincer that I'm pretty sure everyone else ran. Uh, funnily enough, only one person ran the pincer. Really? Oh, Cypress. You know what else ran? Uh, yeah, Halkari didn't even take the pincer, so he's running a, a champ he found on Route 29. Oh, oh no, the Machamp, okay. And Enishi, he d decided to abandon the pincer after the 9, so he found a Kingdra one route to the left, and he ran that. Hmm, okay. And did anyone else run the Dawn fan, or was it just me? Just you. Everyone had unique mains. Hmm, that's interesting, wow. Alkari had the option to run the Dawn fan, but he went with the Machamp instead. Hmm. What did the Machamp have that made him turn down the Dawn fan? Two fighting and a normal move, although it did it was blind. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I got super lucky at the end there. I got bailed out by Wiggly Tuff showing up and I didn't realize yeah. that the Oriados had protected Tekken Door. Were you clued in by, uh, let's see. And she, it looks like, uh, marking them at the same time. Yeah, and she marked it off at the same time, just like, hey, that looks really suspicious. I should double check my 30. <laughs> yep. Because if it wasn't, I was going to go for the Suicune. Uh, it's what were the choice. Fanfy Teddy Ursa? I had no idea where they found that. Uh, Teddy Ursa was both on Route 45 and 29. Hmm. 29? Really? Yep. Oh, okay, I guess it was a 10%. No one saw that. Uh, everyone, uh, actually some people, someone did at least, uh, on um, so, the first pass. Well, first pass, that explains it, okay. So it probably was a 10% then. Yeah. Yeah, I got built. TM34 existing just kind of solidified my pass. If it didn't exist, I was in big trouble. So I think... Okay. 15%, okay. Yeah, Hulk would have most likely stolen this from me if uh, TM34 didn't exist, because uh, my pass was not set up for that. And he was very much set up for it. Mm -hmm. I also got really lucky not having to do, uh, to do bug catching contests for the Everstone Goldberry. Yeah, I would, that's why... It? Yeah, I've been uh, doing that a lot, just skipping Everstone Goldberry, praying I find on the ground, because uh, it's been bailing me out a lot in these past couple of races. I believe you were the one who uh, who found the gold who found the Everstone first outside Mount Mortar. Yeah, which is really weird. I, like I could have sworn I was behind everyone else, but I guess I pulled ahead somewhere. Oh yeah, you were you were the he you had the lead everywhere. Really? Basically. Okay. Because uh, I had some rough fights in there, but it wasn't nothing that Don Fan could take care of. Like finding that Bone Club TM also really helped. And I yeah. did not miss a single Bone Club this run. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I uh, kind of uh, mind game myself out of Zoom with Quagsire at first because I didn't notice we had a Zoom info. I just looked at Quagsire and I'm just like, well, it doesn't exist. Then like everyone started finding it. I'm just like, maybe I should like double check my info real quick. <laughs> I don't know where you and Anishi found Clefable Wiggly stuff. All my info was garbage. Yeah, uh, Clefable and Wigglytuff from me were, or Clefairy and Wigglytuff were both an ice path. That's where they found them. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went. Luckily, I was able to finish with the Protect Protecting Door. So. Yeah. Because my path was originally to get the Clefable Wigglytuff, because I'm like, oh, they got it. It must be easy. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I. Ugh. <laughs> what? It's not my fault Rayman got bullshit lucky with the Clefable cool Wiggly, but... <laughs> hey, I wasn't counter searching for the Azumarill Quagsire for like 10 minutes, man. <laughs> for the, um, like, on um, New Bark Water? Yeah. What? What did I do? 
You taught it self-destruct. Oh, no. Man, I made it stronger. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, the Machamp sucked. Mmm. I ran the Dawn Fan. I, wa I wanted to run the Dawn Fan. The moveset was so good, but mine was female. Mine was female too. I searched in there for like a minute. I'm just like, all right, we're moving and we're taking the female. Because uh, my pinset was also female. I'm just like, well, between the two, I'd rather run it. And like one person yeah. ran against her. <laughs> I picked uh, Dratini and Dratini had rocks up. Mm. The Dawn fan learned Sandstorm on level up. <laughs> Funny story, I wiped to Enledian as soon as I got to 30. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I completely failed to notice that. <laughs> yeah, I, I got owned. And then I'm like, okay, I wiped back to Cherry Grove. I'm like, alright, well, hopefully I don't run into Ledian again. And then I got no encounters to Mr. Pokemon. Mm. I assume it had like Drill Pack or something? Uh, I see one. Mm. Oh, well, I remember that. When you're a Machamp, I guess. Yeah, or when yeah, you're a Dratini, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Power. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Big Bear. That was one of my few fights that the Dolphin actually died on because it exploded on me. Uh, what else did I die on? Oh, the Venusaur had fucking psychic, or freaking psychic. <laughs> and I see this, so it was a rough fight for. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> we both, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was just a nightmare, dude. Yeah, the, the only fight that really took a lot of time but wasn't really a problem was the double Lapras Morty. Oh, that was fine. I just... Wait, L Morty had two Laprases? I... He sure did, yeah, and the first one immediately threw up Reflect. I just double kicked both of them. We had I a Drill Pack TM too, kick. but it was like too late. It's so funny. It's so funny because I saw the Dawn fans move set and I'm like, ugh, I want to run that. And then the Machamp started with Cross Chop Submission Headbutt. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'm Ghost Walled as hell, but I'll run that. And then its move set slowly became the Dawn fan. Because it learned, <laughs> it, learned double, it learned Double Kick and Sludge Bomb leveling up. Nice. So, it was slowly but surely evolving into a Dawn fan. Also, I'm. I don't know it why. Was, I yeah, this was actually really the bomb. I caught the Nether Queen kind of as a meme. I don't know why everyone went down there and got it. Uh, because I had no info. The only info I had was the Nether King, and uh, it was bad. But why did you want Nether Queen? He... Just in case Mew, Mew, Mew Team Mew Salvi exists, and I'm gonna guess. Yeah. I did not see it at all. <laughs> Uh, I was just encounter checking, see if anyone lucked into something there. People always find stuff in there, so I'm just like, I'll take a couple of minutes just to see if I can find something here. If not, then I'm moving on. Because at that point, I was just getting desperate. I don't know, my biggest mistake, and it honestly, yeah, I'm not sure if it cost me the race, but I went into, I started doing public blower films. So that did cost mm. me like a minute or two, but I lost by like three minutes, so that wouldn't matter. Mm. Oh, but. Yeah, we were all at like chalk at like the 50s. Oh yeah, I love how we all like three of us marked Poison Marv at the same time. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> we all, I was like, ooh, it's a race. We were all just in go-mo, just blitzed. Yeah, I don't know why everyone... I didn't know why everyone marked hit, hit on top, Lee, Chan. I'm like, I hope these clowns aren't... I was really hoping these clowns are not going for 30 owned. <laughs> Okay, so where did both spawn them? Okay, because <laughs> I ran into Chan first. I was afraid the Jinx was going to take me a long time because I have really bad memories of looking for things in Burn Tower, but it was only like, I only checked like six slots. It showed up like second slot for me. I know. <laughs> I know. I know it was second slot for you. I'm like, alright, he marked it. Oh, he marked Jinx too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, fir the very first summer in my cleanup, I encountered like, my gun doesn't work that bad. Like, I just popped off like four goals in a row. Yeah. And congrats to Anishi for getting third place. Nice. <sighs> Stop going in the chat, that triggers me a little bit. Um, uh, I don't know what else to say. 
I'm just glad to be able to have a showing here where I wasn't I was complete that, trash. <laughs> I was glad that TM34 existed because that's what officially shifted uh, my path off of 30, 30 poke zone. Same, same. Because if it wasn't, I was going to have to do 30 owned of all four and ruin the valve, which I really did not want to do. Yeah, my path was call four, row four, row two. And then I'm like, all right, well, I guess, you know, 30 owned gives me two bingos or like yeah. a bingo and a half or something. Except I was the only one that didn't find a amphitheater. So, so I, I was like yeah, in even worse position. Good game. Hey, Anishi. I saw it on my GG. Thanks for the game. GG, man. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I was mad because, um, you know, this always happens to me, but my rival had toted out info, and I'm like, oh, great. And that's <laughs> oh, yeah. to cry. <laughs> yep, and the Kenya wasn't to do either. There was some other info that uh, that the rival had for uh, pin the pincer starters on Rival 2, of course. Yeah, it was uh, Needle King. Oh, oh right, yeah. And Although Needle King I can't believe that me went for Needle like, King did not exist. Baffling, it was baffling me the whole time. I'm like, I don't understand why they're catching Mew was apparently in Ice Cave and Dark Cave. Yeah, I went in Ice Pass hoping to luck into a Mew, Mewtwo Celebi, but never showed up for me. I battled it in the uh, <laughs> yeah, you got, you got Plaz Gym. <laughs> Um, but oh yeah, I got with the. Head that was stab confusion. Mew. Uh, do you have the log posted? Everyone, there. I don't know if Cypress is finishing or not. He it looks like he is. I think he might be going for thirty owned. Okay. Oh god, Cypress, no. Uh, Cause I want to know what else was in that headbutt tree um, that I went for in the beginning. Okay. Um, but um, for uh, Cypress, just needs to okay. one, two, three. So. I headbutted a tree. It just get the arrival and you fell out, and I was like, "All right, cool." You know, that's uh, something I can evolve. And I really wanted to run something out of the tree, but all I saw was Weeping Bell. <laughs> it had earthquake. Yeah, that's it. I it's went to thirty six and found a freaking Kingdra. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, there was nothing else. I figured. I think I everyone. I considered it up until I got freaking thundered by a magma. <laughs> I couldn't run it because I didn't pick it. I was. Yeah, the the rest of the headbutt encounters were Letty and Hypno, Beedrill, Arcanine, Slowbro. I went for I, a um, freaking. Magma, I found an Electabuzz. I went for a freaking Chikorita. I found a Cyndaquil. Huh. I did do the special tree. That was, the, that, was the, that, was the, that was the special tree that I did. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six bingos? No, a headbutt tree five is the normal one. Yeah, you got six bingo yeah, finished. There's a tool you can use that if you type in. Oh well. You still will. You still finished. If you, if you type in your trainer ID, it'll tell you which trees are special, trees are not. Well, Cypress is for 30. This is blackoutable. Uh, yeah, yeah this is blackoutable if we just find the Mew. I found the Mew. <laughs> Here, this is. This and is congratulations, is. Cypress, for finishing. There you go. <laughs> if you type in your. um. Trainer ID, it'll tell you what the which ones are special trees or not. That's me, but uh. yeah, but I wish I would have just gone for a normal tree because the normal counters were better. There oh, was... there's something I want to ask because I suspect it, but I'm not sure. Uh, mm -hmm. After Rayman got the Everstone and then marked Swagger and then Hidden Power, did that clue you in as to where the Everstone was for uh, Hulk and Energy? Uh, I was gonna. Okay. No, I just might have gamed it. No, I was gonna check that item anyway. Okay, mm -hmm. so for Anishi, yes, it did meta. He didn't meta game it. It was that item. Okay. But I'm yeah, thankful that that was there. Rayman, it was either there or on the farm. So um, Rayman just being ahead really just helped me, like you know. But then he marked the um, sooner. He marked the TM, and that just made it obvious. Yeah, like I thought he was gonna try to like. He marked TM34. I'm like, I know exactly what that is. I thought he was going to be like, try to fly away and do something else to like hide it. And I would have laughed. Like, nah. Like, I know what that is. <laughs> it 
Do we? I'm just, but then you just like no shame. Like stress like that also just kills me because people will just check it anyways. Yeah. yeah. Listen to four player. If it was a one v one, I might. But oh god, in a four Cypress. player race, someone's bound to go there. Cypress did thirty owned. Yeah, he did thirty owned. <laughs> that poor man. He's done. He's done. Headbutt tree special tree stuff. But that's a resource. Yeah, he did dot done. It's a resource in the swag cargo channel. I didn't know that was a. Uh, I didn't know that wasn't here. Anyway. Anyway, congratulations to our racers for a good race. One that was really close at the end. <clears throat> yeah, this was a really throughout. good race. Like, this is one of the best races I've done. Yeah, it was a fun race. It looked like a disgusting card, but it worked out. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. I was expecting this card to take two hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if this card didn't cooperate, Ron didn't cooperate, like, we'd be so boned. Like if also, just locking into that Teddy Yeah, I right. did not see that at all. If but thankfully, I didn't need it. I really considered surfing on it. If Protected the Door was not where it was, then I had to slot check Ice Path for Wiggly Stuff. Yeah, I got really disappointed unhappy. that I revealed where that was. What do you mean you revealed where it was? I was never. I knew where it was. <laughs> we had Wiggly Tough and did? Sharing info, so. It was on the 30. What? Oh, yeah, oh you're yeah, talking about yeah, Protected yeah, Tactic yeah, Door. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Initially, marking that off just kind of clued me off to like, hey, I should really double check my 30s moveset. I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> I win. <laughs> you should have waited in Ishii. Shame on you. It, was it shown during the... Uh, during I the never checked the moveset. That's the thing. Uh, I mastered Well, it. there's no way to wait on that. Like, you either catch it or you don't. No, no, no. no I'm no. saying like you could have waited to check the moveset. No, because I saw it when I caught it. Oh, it shows it revealed the move to you as you were catching it. I gotcha. see. I didn't see it when I caught it. Yeah, I just master balled it, so it didn't have a chance to do anything to me. You found a master ball? <laughs> Lovable. I, I got it. No, it was a master ball. No. I didn't see either. I don't know where I got it, though. Anyway, what? congratulations again to our racers, uh -huh. whose uh, Twitch handles will be... Yay. I'm stupid poker nerd. Our Help streamer has been a blank and Rain Man. Yeah. <laughs> blank. I'm stupid poker nerd. My uh, co-commentator has been Ben Red Redrock, and the restreamer has been Snowbear. Take care.